Welcome to the next episode of Battle of the Bands, and today's one is a doozy. We have Thrash Metal Legends Metallica versus Thrash Metal Legends Slayer. That's right, they have around about the same amount of albums, so that makes it more interesting. Both in the big four, both big names. One's a bit heavier, one's more mainstream. Who's going to win? Let's find out. But before I do, just like the other two videos I did, pop down below who do you think is going to win, who do you prefer as a band, and pit the albums against each other. We're going from the debut all the way to the latest album, or pitting them against each other. So let's find out where I stand. Let's go. So first up, Kill 'Em All versus Show No Mercy. Oh my god, this is one of the toughest decisions, actually. One of the toughest decisions, because Show No Mercy has this kind of traditional heavy metal kind of sound and edge to it, which I really love. And it's becoming one of my favourite Slayer albums. But Kill 'Em All is just too powerful. The songs like Whiplash, The Four Horsemen especially, one of my favourite thrash songs in existence. Probably my favourite. It's it's ridiculous. Um, pitting them against each other is is really hard for this one. But I am going to have to go with Kill 'Em All for my favourite out of the two debut. Jump in the Fire, Whiplash, Hit the Lights, The Four Horsemen, Motor Breath. Motor Breath! It's too good. It's hit after hit after hit. I know Show No Mercy is consistent throughout, but I can't remember the songs as fondly or as... Well, I can't remember them as much as the ones on Kill em All, where I could just name them off like that. That's how much of an impact Kill em All has. That's how much I prefer it. Metallica wins the first one. Now we got Hell Awaits versus Ride the Lightning. Two great, fantastic albums. Hell Awaits, again, most people's favourite Slayer album. I mean, that art, it's like you're descending into hell. It's fantastic. Ride the Lightning, probably my favourite Metallica album. It's ridiculous, this choice, because I love both these albums, but again, I'm going to give it I'm gonna give it to Metallica. I'm going to give it to Metallica. Ride the Lightning is my favourite Metallica album, whereas Hell Awaits is only my like second favourite Slayer album, so I am going to give it to Ride the Lightning. Creeping Death. I'm Creeping Death. It's so good. Call of Cthulhu is the best instrumental. Well, those people love Orion. That's pretty good. But I'm a Call of Cthulhu kind of guy. Uh, for whom the bell tolls, fight fire with fire, trapped under ice, trapped under ice. It's Metallica. Metallica in the early days, it's hard to be beaten by anyone, to be honest. So it's quite a tough matchup because I do love early Slayer. But against early Metallica, it's, it's like night and day. So for me, ride the lightning. Here we come, Rain in Blood versus Master of Puppets. What's going to win now? Master isn't one of my favourite Metallica albums. It's amazing, it's a masterpiece, but I prefer Ride the Lightning and I prefer Kill 'Em All um, to it. But come on, it has Master of Puppets on. Orion's a great instrumental. Um, Sanitarium, very good. Damage Incorporated, but Rain in Blood, it's also a classic. I mean, Angel of Death Alone, it's, it's too fun. It's too fun. I love both of these albums, Rain in Blood, an absolute classic, which gets people into metal, just like Master of Puppets does. This is a really hard one. This is a really hard one. My... <sighs> Should I go with my gut? I, I think I'm going to go with my gut. And I'm going to go with Metallica again. Metallica's winning three in a row. What's going on? Again, early Metallica can't be beaten by anyone. It's... It can't be beaten by anyone. Master of Puppets, it's Master of Puppets. Most people put it at the top of the list for the best metal albums of all time. For good reason. It's beautiful. Starting off with Battery. Come on, it, it batters Rain in Blood. Here we come for something completely different. And Justice for All versus South of Heaven. South of Heaven, a more doomier side of Slayer. A bit slower, a bit more methodical, a bit just dirgier. I love that side of Slayer. I think that sound is amazing. And then we have Injustice for All. Well, I don't want to say more progressive, but come on, like, like pretty long songs on here. Interesting. The bass. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know. Who cares? Blacken, Dyer's Eve, and Justice for All. One. Absolute classics. South of Heaven, though. It just has a sound I prefer. So I'm going to go with Slayer for this one. South of Heaven. I know that might piss some people off. I prefer South of Heaven. It's probably one of my favourite Slayer albums. I've been saying that for all of them. <laughs> But it, it is, I, I do prefer the sound on it, and I'd rather play that than Injustice for All at the moment. So we're going to have, you know, three for Metallica, one for Slayer so far. Next up we have the Black Album versus 
Seasons in the Abyss. Let's find out who's going to win. So the Black Album, the classic album that made Metallica big, Enter Sandman, Nothing Else Matters, A Wolf of Man, some great songs on the Seasons in the Abyss. My favourite Slayer album. I love it. It's the perfect mix between the doomier side of like Southridge Heaven and the faster, more pummeling side of Rain and Blood. It perfectly blends them in together. It's easily my favourite. I Come on, it's Slayer. It's Seasons in the Abyss. It's got to be. War Ensemble. War, dead Skin Mask. Dance with the dead in my dreams. So good live as well. Season the Abyss. My favourite Slayer album. One of my favourite Thrash albums. It is beating the Black Album. Easily. Next up, Load by Metallica. More of a kind of like revitalization of the band, I guess. Kind of album. Trying new things. Trying to see what sticks. Versus Divine Intervention by Slayer. A more underrated Slayer album that lots of people just say is bad. Or they don't really re-listen to it. I gotta say... Divine Intervention is easily winning this one for me. Do you know why? Personal, personal opinions on this one. Divine Intervention was the first Slayer album I ever got. I saw the cover in a CD shop. It was pretty cheap, like five, five pound or something. Um, the skeleton with all the swords for it. And I was like, that, that's sick. I need that. Listen to it. I loved it. I loved it. Fast, heavy, thrashy. Of course, then I got into the later Slayer stuff. Um... You know, more Slayer CDs, and I enjoyed them you know, a bit more, but I still have fond memories of Divine Intervention. And for Load, I, I like some of the songs. It's a similar problem with Reload. Um, there's some songs that hit, there's some songs that don't quite hit. Um, so overall, Divine Intervention I like from start to finish, so I've got to give it to Slayer again for this one. It's I don't see anything wrong with this album. It's not as memorable, sure, but I think it's better than Load. So it's going to win. Next up, Diabolus in Musica versus Reload. So again, you know, sticking with the load kind of theme. Reload has some songs that I'm not a big fan of, but other songs which are pretty big and pretty massive as well. So it is kind of inconsistent. Um, I don't even think it's quite as good as Load, in my opinion. I don't think it's quite as good as Load. But against Diabolus in Musica, yeah, it's got to win. It's got to win. Um, Diabolus isn't as bad as people say. People say it's one of the worst metal albums. It's not. It's got some cool songs. They tried something different again, just like Metallica did with their albums. Um, it's fine. It's one of the least memorable Slayer albums they've ever done. Um, some some of the, some people say it's like new metal-y. I know I used to say that. It, it's not. It, it's fine. It's not new metal-y at all. It, it, it's just a kind of subpar Slayer album, and when you're putting a subpar Slayer album against an album which has really good highs and kind of bad lows, it's hard to kind of compare, but we are going to go Reload for this one because the highs in Reload just outweigh the kind of mediocrity of, of Diabolus. So, yeah, winner, Metallica. Ooh, Saint Anger. Saint Anger, ow, my neck. Versus God Hates Us All. Yes! Of course the winner is Slayer. I don't even need to say anything. The winner is Slayer for this one, God Hates Us All. Which is actually a fantastic album. And a return to form. A return to form since Diabolus and Musica. I adore this album, actually. It's a, it's a fantastic album. The release date is a bit sketchy, but... <laughs> aside from that, fantastic album. And it's up against Saint Anger, which I've never been a fan of. Some people have grown to, you know, enjoy it now, but is that kind of like Stockholm Syndrome? You know, it, 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 are you kind of falling in love with your captor with that album? Because I still don't understand why people are starting to like it. The snare sound still sounds awful. The lyrics are bad. There's no solos. Like, well, it's just, it's not a good album. So Slayer easily mops the floor with it. Next up, Christ Illusion versus Death Magnetic. This is a harder one. Christ Illusion is even better than God Hates Us All. It's faster, it's punchier, it's more, you know, meat and potatoes slayer. And Metallica's Death Magnetic is a massive, massive return to form. A big return to form after St. Anger. I love all the songs in it, aside from The Day That Never, Never Comes. That one I've kind of grown out of love with. Played it too much, just like Enter Sandman. But the other songs, Cyanide, one of my favourite Metallica songs. All Nightmare Long, so good. All these songs, amazing, and I've never understood the hate for the sound design on this one 
I listen to it with earphones. It doesn't hurt my ears, so I don't know what's going on. Saint Anger hurts my ears, because it's awful. De De Death Magnetic doesn't. So I, I love this one. Um, it's probably... It'll be up there with my favourite Metallica albums, to be honest. Um, mainly because I don't understand what people talk about with the sound design. So Metallica is easily mopping the floor with Slayer on this one. Even though I love Christ Illusion, and it's a fun, punchy album, it's going against... Death Magnetic, and I love Death Magnetic. Cyanide alone makes this album just a masterpiece. And Suicide and Redemption, great instrumental. I don't know what Loudwire is saying, saying it's the worst Metallica song ever. You're off your, you're off your rocker. Next up, yeah, yeah we're going to go Lulu. Lulu by Metallica versus World Painted Blood by Slayer. Yeah. So, everything I said about Saint Anger, multiply it by 100. But Lulu, I definitely don't like this collaboration um, affair. It never tickled my fancy, and lyrics kind of like I Am The Table by James is just head-scratching. Lou Reed slash Metallica is a cool concept, it's a cool, fun idea, but in execution, doesn't quite pay off. Whereas World Painted Blood is a fantastic album from start to finish. I mean, the song World Painted Blood always gets stuck in my head. So again, this is an easy win. For Slayer. So the deciding factor, Repentless versus Hardwired to Self-Destruct. Who's going to come out on top? Let's find out. So Repentless is a bit of a step down. It's it's a fun album. It's a fine album. It's I think it's good from start to finish. I don't hate it like Metal Meltdown does. I know he hates uh, Death Magnetic as well. Um, hi, Metal Meltdown. But yeah, um... I don't hate it. I think it's a fine album from start to finish. It's a bit bland, though. It's a bit cookie-cutter, meat and potatoes, but not as good. Not The gravy's not quite as thick or as rich as on, as on Christ Illusion. It's a bit more bland, watered-down gravy on this one. And let's move over to Hardway to Self-Destruct, which is a pretty great album, actually. You know, you got short, fast, punchy songs. The drums actually sound... Fantastic on it. The solos are great. The punchiness is there. His vocals are back. I think we're gonna go with Metallica. Hard way to self-destruct. Awful album cover aside. Great album. Spit out the bone. Come on. What a great song that one is. It's gonna go to Metallica, which means overall telling up the results. Metallica wins overall. So Metallica is the winner of Metallica versus Slayer. But he didn't think that. He probably thought he was gonna pick Slayer. But, you know, the results are there. Metallica is the winner. So, let me know down below who would win for you. What albums would you pick as your favourites? Let me know down below, and I'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.